welcome back to another video thank you so much for watching today's video i'm very excited to be back filming for you guys i took a little bit of a break i do apologize i haven't been uploading anything recently um, but i did get a little sick and i just really wasn't in the mood to be filming so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of new products that i purchased as well as a lot of products that i did get for my birthday it's not going to be everything of course because there's so much new stuff that i have to show you guys but a lot of the stuff that I have on my face today is new so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so today we're gonna begin um, with the brows already done and then I'm also gonna start by priming my face next so I can have that ready um, and I just want to let it sit on my face for a little while so I'm just gonna take my elf uh, mineral infused face primer and I just picked this one up at Ulta this formula is really, really runny. When I first tried it, I didn't realize how um, runny it was going to be. And it kind of just went all over the place. So I'm just putting it on my skin and then I'm going to press it in with my hands. It's really oily. So the only thing is that you have to let it set before you apply your foundation. You can't apply the foundation right after applying it. Now that I prep my skin, I'm also gonna prep my lips. So I'm just gonna get them a little moisturized. This one is by EOS and I'm really excited about this one. I just picked it up a couple weeks ago and I've been really liking it. Um, this is the Crystal EOS, I believe. So I've already um, cleaned up my brows with some concealer, but I'm gonna put a little bit now on my eyelids. Set them with powder as well. So because I want to add like nude shades, I'm going to, of course, take my 350 palette. So I'm going to begin by taking probably this light shade here and just adding it to the crease. So I'm going to, I'm thinking of doing like a halo eye. So everything that I'm going to apply is going to go like in a circular motion. The next color I am going to be taking is going to be like a little bit darker shade, which is going to be this one here. And same thing, just kind of bring it right underneath. Taking it all the way in. And I'm really thankful for everyone who gave me gifts on my birthday. Um, of course, everything was like makeup or beauty related. And um, I loved every single gift that I got. So I'll be showing a lot of new stuff um, in my videos. It's going to be thanks to all the great people in my life. So thank you so much. It really meant so much having um, hung out with all you guys. And um, I loved every single gift. Then to really darken up the look a little bit more, I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take this one here. These ones look pretty similar. This one I've never used apparently, so I'm just gonna add this to the very outer corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna be taking little by little and slowly building up the intensity. So this is what it is going to look like with all the um, neutral colors and the dark colors. So I'm going to go ahead and darken this one up as well and I'll be back to add the teal. Now I'm going to be moving on to the teal which is going to be from this palette here which is the BH Cosmetics um, Smoky Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to be taking this teal here. And I'm going to pop this right in the center. And I'm not going to be adding any eyeliner because the wing is just going to extend my eye. I probably will add just a little bit like right over the eyelid just for the lashes. Okay now so for the glitter I'm going to be taking my dual clear um, lash adhesive and I'm just gonna apply this pretty much all over where I'm gonna add the glitter um, so right on top of the teal eyeshadow that we just added so I'm quickly gonna take that same uh, flat brush and I'm just gonna pick up the loose glitter 
This is a really pretty teal. I don't know if you guys can see how pretty that is, but I'm gonna quickly add that on here. And I'm actually surprised that none of that glitter stuck on my face because of the primer that I had applied. It's like a tiny, tiny bit, but not bad at all. I'm actually going to go back in with my Morphe palette one last time and just kind of do the um, sides again because I kind of wanted to blend in a little bit better with the teal. So I'm just going to take another brown. I know I used um, like this one for that part. I think I'm going to take the one right underneath it. I'm just kind of taking this right here, the outer part, and kind of um, blending it sort of like into the eyeshadow. And same thing on the inner corner. And now just to take a little bit of eyeliner. Like I said, I'm not creating a wing, so I'm just adding a tiny bit right on the top. Now for a little bit of mascara. This is the Luminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm just gonna add this to my top lashes for now. Just to prep them for my falsies. Um, now I'm gonna prep my falsies. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. And because I used a little bit of um, eyeliner, I'm actually gonna take the black one. And I'm just gonna apply this to my falsies. And these are the lashes that I told you guys that I got um, like on eBay where I have a bunch of these ones. They have no names. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and wait for them to dry. My hair was so crazy today I couldn't get it to curl the way I wanted it to. It looks pretty bad. I probably will end up holding it up or something or maybe just even playing around with it. Now that my falsies are ready, I'm just going to apply these real quick. I'm kind of just going to leave it pulled back for now so that I can apply my foundation. You guys know my routine for foundation. Today I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. Um, and... This has a pump, so I'm just gonna be adding it to this lid here and picking it up with a brush and applying it as usual with my um, damp beauty blender. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and then be right back. Just a little sneak peek of how well this foundation covers. This is a lot of coverage. Look at all this. Okay, so now I've applied the foundation all over my face. I'm looking a little bit pale. Um, honestly, I don't even feel like I need to add very much concealer. So I'm just applying a little bit in the areas where it's darkest and I'm just gonna blend it out real quick. Blending out foundation or concealer like in my like in the areas right around my eyebrows or in between my brows is the only reason why I don't like to apply foundation um, at the end this is the only reason why I apply it like at the beginning and then do my eyebrows just because it's so much easier and you um, don't get any product on your brows after they've already been applied but um, maybe it's just my lazy side talking forgot to mention this foundation is actually a better shade for me the one that I had purchased before was a little bit too like orangey too dark this one is in the GLM674 Natural is the color that I picked up. Then that's the one that I feel like um, fits my skin a little bit better. I almost don't even want to add any um, setting powder on my face because it's so mattifying already. But I feel like if I don't, I'm just going to feel like my face is not complete. Like my face makeup is not complete. And then if it does start to crease or act a little weird, I'm gonna feel, you know, I'm gonna blame myself obviously for that. So I'm gonna add 
a little bit of setting powder right underneath my eyes. And I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna set them. Kind of brightens my under eyes a little bit more as well. Okay, airspun done. The next thing I'm gonna do is bronze up my face and so this is gonna give my face a little bit more depth, a little bit more liveliness, I guess, because I do look a little too pale right now. So I'm just gonna take this other brush which is like kind of angled and I'm gonna take the hula bronzer and I'm just gonna add this right here on my cheekbones and slowly blend it out and also taking some on my forehead And a little bit under my chin. Kind of want to start contouring my nose a little bit. So just going to add a little tiny bit on my nose. This is probably not the best brush to do it with. But I kind of don't want it to be like super defined. I just want it to be a little bit. And I'll kind of make it a little bit more defined with um, highlights. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Next, going to take um, Rocketeer, which is the blush of the palette. I did, did I forget to introduce this palette? This is that Benefit Pretty in the USA palette. Um, so anyway, I'm taking the blush and I'm just going to add this right on top of the bronzer. So I've tried the highlight in this palette and I didn't really like it. So instead I'm going to take the Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is a shade Marshmallow, this one's Gumdrop, Butterscotch, and Starburst. I think I'm going to like the Marshmallow shade the best. Just because it is like a white highlight. Um, I think possibly these two shades here I'll probably like a little bit better uh, during the summer when I have more of a bronzy. Um, look going on and then this one this one's nice too um, just to go like right over the blush is not bad but definitely this one's gonna be um, a shade that I'll be using like for my nose and my inner corners and stuff so taking that same angled brush that I use for the bronzer um, but I did clean it off pretty good and now I'm gonna just spray some fix plus and like I said I'm gonna pick up this marshmallow shade and show you guys I haven't actually tried this highlight yet, so I guess we'll find out together if I really, if it really works well or not. There we go. There is that beautiful glow I was looking for. So next I'm taking another brush. I'm just adding this here on the inner corner and also a little bit here on the brow bone as well. Of course, I'm adding some to my nose as well. And I haven't finished the eyes yet, but I do want to move into lips. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Wifey. And I tried this one already once. Um, tested it out. I was really excited about it. So when you first apply this one, it's very light. Um, it's almost very like um, see-through. You have to really layer it up so that you get the color that you want. Um, you'll see that here hopefully so I don't know if you guys can see but it's like really light and it kind of takes a little while to dry I do love Huda products but 
I was a little disappointed with the way that this applies. Uh, but I'm not saying that I don't like it. I actually love this lip gloss. When it dries, it looks really, really pretty. So now to get back to the eyes and wrap this video up, I'm gonna take a little bit of white eyeliner. Um, and this is the Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's in the shade Milk 604. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on the bottom waterline. So this one is by NYX and it's really, really pigmented. It just takes literally one swipe and um, that's all you need. So lastly, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that dark brown. And I'm just gonna add this right underneath. So this is it on the makeup. Now to set it all, I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Um, I've been using this one recently and I really do like it. Um, so I'm just gonna use this all over my face. I kinda like to spray it kinda like above my face, not directly towards my face, and then kinda just let it fall. That makes sense, so that's what I'm gonna do now. like everywhere Ugh, it's in my mouth so she didn't talk all right guys well this is the end of the video for today i really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look if you guys did make sure to give it a thumbs up as always and i'll see you guys in the next one